Greetings, beautiful earthlings. My name is Star. If you are new here, I don't know how you found me, but I am super glad you did. And if you are returning, y'all, the real MVP, you already know. I am super, super, super excited for this series, you guys. I'm going to make this just a pure week of About Me videos. And I had told everybody, all of my longtime followers, that once we hit 200 subs, I was going to do About Me videos. So I want to make that very clear. If you guys are brand new, if this is the first time you have ever clicked on a video of mine, this is not typically what I do. I usually do things tarot related, so definitely check out my playlists if you would like to hang around. But definitely feel free to just hang out for this video if you so choose. So if you guys would like to hang around with me, you can always feel free to hit that little subscribe button as well as the post notification bell so that you get notified every time I make a video because I don't usually regularly upload. I try to at least do once a week, but sometimes I'll just do a whole bunch of them and no one ever knows what's going on. So all of my socials and everything are in the description box for you guys. But this is a long awaited video. Ever since I made my channel, I have been wanting to do one of these. So as as of today, um, in October 2020, I'm not even going to give a date because I don't know what day it is specifically. These are just the tattoos that I have so far. So um, if you guys have seen my plant tour vlog, that was the start of the About Me Week videos. And this one is going to be kind of gender neutral. I feel like everybody can appreciate tattoo stories. but. Um, I am going to do some that are more girl focused later that are going to be my makeup and my skincare routine as well as one that's just going to be like things that you guys don't know about me and that's going to end the entire about me week. So um, let's go ahead and kick this one off. If you guys don't particularly like tattoo stories, this probably isn't going to be the video for you. I'm not going to pay attention to how long it runs. I'm just going to ramble on about my tattoos because um, that's what this week is about. You guys wanted to know more about me that isn't tattoo related and since we did the amazing amazing task of getting my channel to 200 subs I thought I'd give something back so just keep in mind if you guys are watching this in the future I may get more tattoos I plan on it but at the current moment I am nursing I am uh, my what is she, eight, nine months now? <laughs> My nine month old baby. So um, I can't currently get tattoos, but I do definitely plan on it in the future. So depending on when you guys are watching this, I might have more, I might do follow-ups to this video. We'll see, we'll get there when we get there. So um, this one is super, super fun. I'm gonna try to do them in the order that I got them, but it's really hard for me to remember now. And I definitely don't know, um, information for all of the people who did these tattoos because some of them are just kind of spur of the moment whatever shop was near me whatever artist was available at the time so keep that in mind i'm not going to link all of these people and their socials and stuff like that i'm going to try to remember who did them but this has been since uh the time i was 19 so it's been almost 10 years worth of tattoos um, up until this point and as you guys know girls usually have smaller tattoos usually that's not to say that's all girls i know that there are some girls that are covered in tattoos or like to get big tattoos i just me personally i don't have the money to do big tattoos and that's all that it was it wasn't uh preference it wasn't pain tolerance or any of that just i don't quite have the money to do big tattoos so i get a couple little meaningful ones while i can and they are all right here as you can see they are all in your view and a lot of people have given me grief about that as well as my giant plugs and lots of piercings but that's who I am and I don't really care. I can find jobs around it. So I don't want to hear any hate in the comments about how horrible my life choices are, okay? You're here to learn about my tattoos and that should be it. So let's go ahead and start off with the very first tattoo that I got when I was 19 years old and it is this namaste tattoo right here. So yeah, that was the very first tattoo I got right here on my wrist and it is um, an exact replica of another tattoo from a beautiful musician named Drew Chadwick and he is part of the band Emblem 3. They have been off and on together for a long time and I'm very inspired by Drew Chadwick. I had actually gone to an Emblem 3 meet and greet for my birthday one year when they came to San Diego and um, I went there to go see Keaton honestly and I ended up shaking hands with Drew Chadwick and it really I know I sound like a fan girl right now it changed my life but it really did it set me on a different course and uh, Drew Chadwick is a very spiritual very Buddhist type person and I wanted to learn all that I could about Drew Chadwick from meeting him from 
feeling his energy and in doing so it really took me on a different path so uh, Drew Chadwick has this namaste tattoo on his hand however the tattoo artist that was doing it for me refused to put it on my hand because it was my first tattoo he said hand tattoos fade he didn't want his name associated with something that was going to fall off especially considering he didn't even like the fact that we were doing a replica tattoo he kept trying every which way to change it and I was dead set on it being a replica tattoo yes I I am that person when I go into a tattoo studio I draw my own tattoos because I want to put my own touch on them and um, there was really only a couple that I did give the actual person liberties to do because I now realize how irritating that is when you get a client that is like no I want this tattoo I don't care what you say and I understand now that that is such terrible tattoo etiquette so now I usually just kind of give them liberties and just let them do it but with that one I was super adamant and um I want to say my next one is this Batman tattoo here. I might have to get up for you guys to see this one. Sorry. But um, here we have this one. This is my Batman tattoo. So this bat symbol here is the 1993 Batman Nightfall symbol. And the why, <laughs> why do we fall writing? I actually did that writing myself. And um, as you guys know, Why Do We Fall comes from the Dark Knight series. So something you guys don't know about me is that I am a huge Batman nerd. I'm a huge comic nerd. I am very DC Comics, have a big box of comics. I am a huge comic hunter. And um, I felt so strongly about Batman. I wanted one of my first tattoos to be a Batman tattoo. So I did a lot of research on all of the Batman um, bat symbols throughout the years in comics and I landed on the Nightfall series because that is the series that Batman was doing in 1993 when I was born. So I have the exact comics that were released from Batman Nightfall as well as Detective Comics in August of 93 when I was born and I totally just gave my age away. <laughs> but. Um, yeah, so that's why Nightfall was super important to me. I do love the Nightfall series. I have been collecting all of the Nightfall um, comics individually as I find them instead of just buying that giant trade book by itself because it's more special to me to hunt them down. So the Why Do We Fall, I actually did it in kind of a graffiti style writing which is uh, supposed to mirror my dad's writing. And um, I know a lot of you guys don't know this about me. I'm not very close with my dad. I do have a very... Um, troubled past with my father that's all i'm going to say so the whole why do we fall really resonated to me to make it centered around uh, how many things i have risen above in my life so why do we fall in the batman dark knight series is asked by alfred so that bruce can answer so that we can learn to pick ourselves back up so that's what i loved about this one i wanted the why do we fall um, i was actually supposed to get a matching tattoo with someone else at the time who was going to get the other half of it and they just did not and it worked out perfectly for me because now i have my beautiful batman tattoo and i at the time loved christian bale dark knight now it is one of my least favorite batman series and Batman can be a whole, 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 whole series of videos in and of itself. So let's go ahead and move on before I get too much into Batman. I do believe one of the next ones should be this feather here. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. Um, it is a little tiny black, white, and teal feather. And I actually have this matching with my cousin. So she has the exact same feather but flipped and we made it like a yin yang so mine has the black center hers has the white center mine is more of a white feather hers is more of a dark feather and we have it matching exactly in the exact same spot i think hers is on the opposite arm so that when we put them together it makes a yin yang and i absolutely love 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 matching tattoos with people you're gonna see that here in a minute but um yeah that feather is just to signify a uh, time that my cousin and i went through we were kind of each other's rock there for a little while and i used to call her little bird so we decided to do a feather we didn't really have any ideas going into it so that is one of those tattoos that i let the tattoo artist just draw the feather i was like whatever style you want do it i just want a feather i just want them to be yin yang i don't care what it looks like so um the person who 
did my feather, also did my Batman tattoo, also did my Jack Sparrow tattoo. And that uh, was Tiffany Rainey. She used to be in Colorado. I know that she jumps between Colorado and California. So I don't quite know where she is at the moment, <laughs> but um, she did at least three of those for me because it was a local tattoo shop. So I do believe the next one would be my Jack Sparrow tattoo. As you guys can see, that's Jack Sparrow. And that's where Jack Sparrow has his tattoo. So a big issue with this Sparrow tattoo, I guess sparrows are not supposed to be pointing outward on your body. They're supposed to be pointing toward your body. That was a huge issue for the tattoo artist. She did not like that I had the Sparrow pointing outward, but I love having matching tattoos with people. So not only is this a Jack Sparrow tattoo because I love, love, love Johnny Depp. Um, I really grew up on the Pirates of the Caribbean, but also it is matching with my Aunt Rose. So you guys know that my Aunt Rose has her own channel. I have a playlist down there for her. We are both admins in the same group. We are very interconnected all the time. So she wanted to do matching tattoos and we had both been wanting to do this Jack Sparrow tattoo for a long time. So we decided one day just to get them. We actually weren't together when we got them, which is funny. She got it on the opposite arm. I got mine on the exact arm Jack Sparrow had it on. Johnny Depp has this exact tattoo. I just really love this tattoo. I have always admired it since I was very little and I really desperately wanted it. So I love this one. I tried my very best to take care of it, but I'm terrible with taking care of tattoos. So it's got tons of holes. I feel so bad. All of my tattoos have lots of holes, but um, the next one I believe I think this one might have come before one of these other ones. I don't quite remember. I'm pretty sure this one was after all of these because this was when I was back in Colorado. As you guys can see, this is the Mayan symbol for the number 13. Please, no gang related messages. I know now that there is a gang that is related to this tattoo. That is not why I got this tattoo at all. Um, I grew up in South San Diego. My, um, I, oh, I'm trying really hard not to say things about myself to indicate where I'm at, but it's it has to do with the tattoo. So um, our school mascot was the Aztecs, the Mayans, and that's South San Diego for you. And so um, we grew up with a lot of Mayan imagery and my girlfriend at the time also had this tattoo and I really wanted a tattoo matching with hers. We just could never quite agree on tattoos to match with. Uh, she wanted to do names and I was very against that. And so um, she wanted to do initials. I was very against that. <laughs> and you can see why clearly we're not together anymore that that happens. And um, I, my Mayan galactic tone is actually number eight. So it would look like this, but with one less line. It would be a line and three dots. So I figured if I ever wanted to get that connected one day, I can and just make it the Mayan galactic tone eight and it will work perfectly. But this 13 is matching exactly where she has it. And I was able to get away with getting it as a Friday the 13th tattoo because I showed the tattoo artist that it is the number 13 and I was able to get that Friday the 13th discount because I had never gotten a Friday the 13th tattoo. I just really wanted one that day. So um, the next one I have is this one I got to get up again for because it's upside down. But this one is a little bat cat. So I have this one here matching with my friend Edwin and he has again the inverse colors. So mine is a black cat with a white cape. His is a white cat with a black cape. Again, I drew this because we went to the tattoo shop. We wanted to get matching tattoos, but we had zero idea what we wanted. So uh, we sat there throwing around ideas. I really love Batman. He, he and I uh, went through a couple, a couple years of college together. So he just kind of knew that I really liked Batman. So we were like, let's do something silly related to Batman. So I, I don't know how we came up on a bat cat, but I was like sitting there trying to figure out ideas of a cat with a cape or a cat with wings or something. The tattoo artist was not vibing with this at all. I feel so bad for this guy and he was a trooper for doing it. And I think he upcharged us just because he like did not like the idea. But um, 
We originally wanted it on our hands. Again, he refused to tattoo it on our hands. So um, I'm really glad for all of these tattoo artists that never did hand tattoos for me because I have very specific ideas now for my hands and I'm very glad that they are open. But yep, I really like those little inverse yin yang tattoos with friends. So he's got the same one in the same spot, just inverse colors. And the last one on my arms, as you guys can see, I'm gonna stand up again for you guys is my Bones Brigade tattoo. So this one, this is a beauty, beauty, beauty. This one was done by my friend Aaron. He used to be in Colorado at the time that I got it. He is no longer in Colorado, he moved. So um, I don't know how much you guys know about the Bones Brigade, but it is skateboarding related. Bones Brigade is like Tony Hawk, Stacy. Peralta, a whole, whole bunch of people, and it's just a constantly rotating roster of people, but um, the Bones Brigade imagery specifically was very special to me because growing up, my stepdad loved Bones Brigade, him and his whole crew of friends and family, so all of their skateboards were Bones Brigade, and I always loved that imagery, and I just happened to meet this kid, Aaron, at the exact same time that I was getting tattoos, and he was showing me his little portfolio and in there was the Bones Brigade tattoo. Turns out he had the Bones Brigade tattoo on his leg and I was like, dog, I love matching tattoos. Would you be down to do a matching tattoo with me of the Bones Brigade? But I let you draw it however you want in your style. You do it. I'm not going to be picky about it. So uh, the reason why this is super unfinished <laughs> is because it was supposed to be blue, pink, and yellow. I wanted it to be like bright neon um, skateboarding 90s type colors, and that just didn't happen. This was uh, really hard for us to get through like this, and I'm definitely gonna have to get this guy touched up, which is a shame because Aaron and I are not in the same state at all. There's tons of holes in this thing. I'm very upset about how this has aged because I was stoked on this, and at the time I used to work at Vans as well, so it was a really cool to have a skateboarding type uh, tattoo when I worked at Vans so that people would talk to me about skateboarding. I loved, you know, building boards and being a part of the Vans family. That was like my favorite time of my life. So I have such a special place in my heart for Bones and my daughter loves playing with this thing. She like smiles at him all the time because uh, it's a face, <laughs> but she loves him. So the last one that I've got here is my onk on the middle of my chest. This was another apprentice tattoo. Um, this kid was just learning and needed someone to practice on. And I was there that day and I was like, can you do a chest tattoo? And I wanted it to look like a necklace so that if ever I had a necklace, you know, it would look like it was on there. I used to wear an onk in that exact spot, that exact size, and I loved it, but it's got tons of holes. It did not age well at all. And it's actually a little bit crooked, like that kid was having a huge, huge, huge issue getting it straight. And I wish that he had just like asked me to put on the stencil. I could have totally done it straight because you know, it's my face, but um, I plan to get this covered up with a bigger onk, probably a whole like onk scarab chest piece when I have the, the money to do so because I would love to have that still incorporated in there. And um, like I said, I plan to have tons of tattoos, but the ones that I have now I feel were most representative of the path that I've been on so far, the people that really affected change in my life along the way. And that's what I wanted my body to be dedicated to the artwork um, for people who have inspired and changed my life in a very big way. So uh, <laughs> I don't think any of these are really um, extraneous, like have no meaning. They all have meaning. They're all matching with somebody. They are all, um, I think the only one that I didn't draw is my bones tattoo. I did draw all of them. Um, no, the sparrow tattoo I did not draw either. I just had her print out a picture of the sparrow. We had to use lots of reference pictures for her to get the stencil right, but all the other ones that I drew. So, um, this was super fun. I know I don't have too many tattoos 
just quite yet, but I feel like it is a good little uh, view into who I am as a person to see what I have decided to put on my body eternally. And I think it is so cute. My daughter is getting a really good kick out of uh, seeing the fact that mommy's got drawings all over her and she's starting to really understand that and really get curious and she'll sit here for so much time just like, what is that? You know, like looking at it and trying to figure it out. And she is so, she's having a lot of fun with my tattoos so I wonder how she's gonna react to me getting new tattoos whenever I do so I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of the about me videos um, it's gonna be a little playlist even though there's only gonna be like five videos in the playlist it just seems right to me to put about me week in a little playlist for you guys so um, again I am so so grateful for 200 subs I'm so grateful to be able to do these videos. I really never wanted to make about me videos on this channel, but considering how much I have grown in only a few short months and how many people are constantly interacting with my videos, I feel like it's fair for you guys to see who I am as a person outside of tarot because I do a lot of tarot, but it's not my whole life. It's just what I have dedicated my YouTube channel to. So maybe I'll do another updated About Me videos when I hit like 500 views or, or 500 subs, something like that. Um, just so that I can touch base with you guys again outside of tarot because this is super fun being able to just talk about myself. I'm a Leo, so I mean, all the fun I can have talking about myself, I will definitely take the opportunity. <laughs> so that's why we have quite a few videos of About Me's going on, but I really hope that you guys um, enjoyed this little look at my artwork, enjoyed um, seeing what I do with my body. Clearly, I was gonna do a tattoos and piercings video, but I mean, the only piercings I have left are on my ears. You guys have seen it in a couple other videos. I have piercings all the way up both ears. I think it's about 17 piercings on both sides. I have gone through way more than 30 piercings in my lifetime. I take them out constantly because I'm constantly piercing and constantly taking them out. I have so many that were on my ears that I let heal. I used to have both sides of my nose pierced at one time. I had lots of piercings that I'm not going to talk about, but they're clearly not in existence anymore. And then for anybody asking, my plugs are size one inch. Um, took me about 12 years to get there. And I always wanted to get to an inch. Finally hit an inch, took me 12 years to do it. I'm not going any bigger. I'm not going back down. So stop asking. <laughs> I get tons of people like, what is up with your gauges? What are those? Why are they so big? Why did you do that to your ears? Like I get, that is probably the most asked question on my channel that is outside of tarot is about my gauges. And the reason that I have black and white here, I have gotten somebody ask me that recently because white is masculine, black is feminine. That is the whole point of yin and yang. If you didn't know, your right side is your feminine side relating to the mother. Your left side is your masculine side relating to the father. And I love doing the black and white often. You guys see me, I'm constantly changing out my plugs though because they're like earrings I get bored with them so uh, <laughs> I have um, a couple more videos to shoot today hopefully it works out for me and I am so so grateful that you guys came to join me for another fun ramble video this week if you guys made it to the end please give me a big thumbs up that really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm so that they know that you are digging my content and you would like to see my videos recommended to other people if you didn't like this video that's cool thumbs down you don't have to like my video say whatever you want in the comments because y'all do anyway and don't forget to check out my description box because I've got my Etsy link for my stickers down there as well as my tarot and oracle wish list if you guys ever want to send me a deck to review. Um, all of my socials are down there as well for you guys and I took off my booking info but you can still find it if you look hard enough. <laughs> so I really hope that you guys have a beautiful wonderful day wherever you are when this video reaches you my friends and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Namaste.